met you in the winter when I was a mystery. It was cold, but I was full of fire. And you said you loved hey, ladies. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm your girl, Lorna Marie. I'm a mom of four. I homeschool. I'm traveling full time, RVing right now. So life is kind of crazy. And also, I think this video is going to be great because we have this whole coronavirus thing going on. So hopefully, this will give you some inspiration on things you guys can do with the kids at home um, while we're trying to entertain them. So, as a homeschooling mom, I feel you. I completely understand. Like, it is not easy keeping your kids entertained. It's it's quite a challenge. But today's video for all of our easy Easter activities, treats, and all that good stuff is a collaboration with my friend um, ABCDE Learning on um instagram so if you guys want to check out her channel i will link it down below for you guys but today's video is going to be fun and hopefully informational for you guys and give you guys some support that i feel like we all need right now i'm going to link everything i can find for you guys down below including my website my etsy store and all of my amazon favorites and if you feel like depositing some positive energies give your girl a thumbs up i'd so appreciate it question of the day is what are some activities you guys enjoy doing to keep your kids busy at home share with our friends down below or if you guys have any links to fun activities we would love to share information with each other i appreciate you guys so much you have no idea and without further ado if you guys want to see what my easy easter activities that we're doing this year for our kids then just keep watching okay, so i just have a cooking sheet and a little rubber thing i actually cut this one to fit because this is a pretty small tray believe it or not this is the only tray we have in the entire house which is kind of funny um, we're starting off with some cinnamon, cinnamon rolls and you can use a the bigger ones if you want. Um, I like these ones because it comes with eight small ones. I think it's a perfect size for little kids if you don't want them to be too much on a sugar rush. So this is the one we are using. The body. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to take another, we're just going to take this and we're going to just cut it in half like that. And then you could just shape it to be the little ears and then you just kind of manipulate it and stick them on top there like that. You can also stick them underneath. We'll probably do that. That'll probably look cuter. Okay. You kept me every time I mess it up everybody said. Okay. And now we're just going to put these in the oven. Look at these. I got these such a long time ago um, when I was doing my Easter basket and my coffee bar. I had picked these up at Home Goods, but I'm so excited that the kids get to use these. Okay, you guys, we're all set up. <laughs> the kids are so excited. Our little bunnies. Oh, there you go. Um, we have all kinds of fun stuff. We got a bunch of sprinkles and. They're gonna go to town and do whatever they want. Yeah, we got some of these little mint melt aways. We got some of this, what is this called? Um, the little icing so they can draw little faces, but they are so excited. You guys excited? Yeah. You excited? Yeah. Oh, you can do your hair. pink. You can do your hair. Oh, that's red. Yeah. What I like to do is just slap it on so that way I kind of split it up into however many there are and then it just melts a little bit. Okay, and then once it starts to melt, then you can start spreading it around. And keep in mind, you want it to be a little warm when they're decorating it. Obviously, you don't want it to be scolding hot right out of the oven. But you definitely want it to be warm enough so they can um, do the decorating. And I'm just putting the stuff on here, you guys, because for me, I feel like this is easier. So you do whatever you want. If you have bigger kids, you can totally let them ice their own. But I don't like them fighting over the icing and all of that. I just like them to be able to decorate it, which they totally don't mind. So whatever is easier for you, the whole point of this video is to do easy things for the kids. All right, somebody hand me your plate. Okay. We got one little bunny. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunny. Hop, 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 h
Wow, you do a good job. This blue. You think this is gonna work? Me, my do, mommy, mommy, my do, mommy. We're gonna make the little. Okay. And then we're Look at his little nose. Look at his little nose. The little whiskers. <laughs> Judy got the little whiskers. And now I'm going to make the eyes like pop out a little bit more. But you my look, 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 Mom, mom, I'm sorry. It. Turn yours around, I can't see it. But you're gonna have to go into my belly. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. You're gonna I eat yours? Yeah. Maisie, you gonna put yours in your belly? Is it cute? Mom, mom, only yours <laughs> came off. Pull it up. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's okay, here. Get another one, here. Here you go. She's loving putting these on here. Is that fun, little princess? Let's see yours. So pretty. Did you guys like this activity? Is that fun? What is it? I'm good. Let me see you eat yours. Yours is good? Mmm. How's yours, Roman? Good? How's yours, Sophie? Oh, she's still decorating. Oh, you're so good. Good? You did a good job. It's so good. Okay. you guys just got done setting everything up for the kids we got markers and crayons here we got some glitter glue some Elmer's glue um, we have some little buttons for the nose they can add more if they want I got two little extra eyeballs just in case somebody loses one I personally think it's easier especially when you have toddlers and little ones like my big kids could have totally did this on their own and pulled them out I just set it up for them anyways that way it's all here and they know what to do and I pretty much help my toddler so as I'm making hers I'll be explaining to everybody else and then they can color and decorate I suggest doing all of the coloring first and then doing the gluing after so what I'm gonna have them do is first step is gonna be drawing the face on the bunny rabbit and if they want to color him they totally can and then if they want to color the ears they can I'll give them a little bit of time to do that that should occupy some time and then we're going to add the little ears. They're gonna glue their little nose where their nose goes, and then they'll glue their little eyes where their eyes go. We'll draw the little mouth for the bunny, and I'm just showing you this before the chaos comes in. When the kids come in, it's gonna be hard for me to explain things. Um, but we got the little middle piece for the ears, and we did pink for the girls, or a pinkish purple, and then a blue for the boys. Vicky? Good job. All right, so wait, let me just draw your little face. Want me to use purple? Here, we'll do it together because we're going to draw the little face so we can show everybody how to do it, okay? Ready? Let's go like this. You draw the little mouth and then you draw the little dots and then look, we got to draw the whiskers. Ready? Hold on. Want to do a different color for the whiskers? Here. Mom. Perfect. Can I give him eyebrows? Do the little whiskers. Can I give him eyebrows? Mom said we can do it yep. Okay, so here's Sophie's face. Now she's gonna color on it a little bit more. All right, go ahead. Now you color. Oh, you draw hair. Oh, that looks Mom, look good. Look at him. Yeah. Oh, cute. Let me take this off so I can get a little closer in. Oh, that looks pretty. Yeah. You guys are doing such a good job. Mm -hmm. Okay, Roman's gluing his ears on. So why don't you show us how to glue the other one, Roman? Okay, so first, 
you're gonna kind of set it right here so you know where you're gonna put it. And then you're gonna take the glue and kind of give it like an outline. Don't put it too far towards the edge or else it'll spew out the ends when you push it on. Good advice. So kind of like put it like kind of in the middle. Okay. So it'll spread out. Okay. And then go around in a circle. Okay. And then take your thing and then flip it over. And then just smack it right on there. Nice. So you spread it out. Okay, good job. Yeah, that's good. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Look at yeah. yours. Yeah. How's yours going, Jade? Yeah. Oh, you got your little whiskers. Yeah. Where should I put it at? Cute. Yeah. Where should I glue them on? They go to the top. Yeah. yeah, you can do them on the outside like that. Yeah, for daddy. Um, I saw yeah, some people do it underneath too. So yeah, whatever you guys want to do. Nana. You make it's this. For Nana. You make this for Nana. Yeah. Oh, you're so daddy. sweet. Oh, he make yours for Daddy. Oh, you huh? love your daddy, this, huh? Aw, let's see. It's looking so good. Cole wanted to start over and have me help him. He wanted to get the eyes on there and everything. So now he's going to go. Know, you did your cheeks? I don't want to do this up. Okay, we'll glue those on. And Jade's. You guys are doing so good. All right, you guys, everything turned out so cute. The kids had so much fun. They definitely made everything their own. And it was so easy because I know you guys probably have some paper plates. You don't have to use the googly eyes. But since everything was already out, the kids just put it together. And it was, it was so much fun. So they really enjoyed it. Okay, so I shaped little cones out of foil. It just literally crumbled them together and shaped them like this. I can show you one, like super easy. And basically, you can just form it however you want. Honestly, it doesn't really matter because we're going to bake it and cook it. Nobody's going to see these. It's just to get your initial shape going for your carrot. We are making biscuit carrot tuna melts okay i'm gonna make tuna and put it in here and hopefully get the shape of a carrot i got the idea they used puff pastry but i don't have puff pastry so the whole point of this video is doing things that are easy and whatever you have in your house making it work so this is what we have this is what we're gonna do so we're gonna open this bad boy up You guys could use food coloring, whatever you want, but we do have a bag of Cheetos, so we're gonna probably roll them in some Cheetos. Okay, you guys, so I have my tuna here. Um, I just wanted to tell you, you can do um, mac and cheese, you can do whatever you want. We're doing tuna today, but feel free, fill it with chili, anything. It would be so much fun to um, switch it up. Uh, but I have salt, pepper, garlic powder, and that's it, and tuna. And then I'm getting ready to add our meal. Now I'm going to add some cheese to every one of them just so the cheese can start melting. Okay, so I'm taking one of these. Remember, we pulled it off the foil by ripping down the side and opening it up like this. Now we're going to add our tuna mixture. Stick that on there. You want to put a good amount. And then we're going to stick our little leaves in there and put the top on. And there it is. Cute little tuna milk carrot. 
here is the finished product, you guys. They turned out so good. So this is a thing that I did for the kids. Um, this did not involve them. You totally could involve them. It was a little bit harder than I anticipated to pull the biscuit off, but the easiest way to do it is rip a seam on the side and pull it off. And it was made it so much easier to stuff too. So um, I am so happy with the way they turned out. They turned out so cute and the kids are excited and they're staring at me ready to dig in. I've set up all the kids stuff. Now this is what makes it easy. Just pre-do everything and the project will go by easier. So you're not sitting there the whole time with them, helping them figure out. My toddler already started making his and sticking all of his little uh, pieces together, which is so easy. So I already made his ears. You just shape them in the shape of an ear and then you twist the bottoms. I already molded his little feet for him. Now the big kids, they're gonna mold their own. So they're gonna mold these and then they're gonna also draw their faces on. Oh, whoops, I put the wrong face here. Um, but they're gonna draw their own face on. The babies, I already drew it on for them. It was super easy. And so they can just put theirs on and the big kids can make theirs um, more personalized. So let's do it. Big kids are gonna draw their little faces on. So you guys go right ahead. If you wanna see one, this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, you go ahead. Wait, let me show the camera really quick. Here is what the little face looks like. So if you guys wanna know how to draw it, just two little circles, little eyebrows. You ready? Yeah. Okay, and then you gotta do the whiskers and the little okay. mouth and nose. Okay, so let's put your feet together. Yeah. Okay, then, okay, then take your lollipop. Stick your lollipop here. Ready, stick it down. No, no, no. Oh no? Okay, here, go ahead, put your little bead on. Eat that. Yeah, we're gonna eat it, but you gotta make your bunny first. Okay. okay? <laughs> She's like, I want to eat that. Mine. Let me see. I kind of messed up on the eyebrows. Oh no, that's cute. That it's looks good. Mine. Look. Mine. Mine. Look how cute that is. And see, Co yeah, Mama. Oh, nice. And Koa did this all by himself. He literally just stuck the little ears in. And then, okay, put your little feet on here. Oh, you're smashing them down. Okay, put your feet yeah. down. Okay, put them right there. Okay. And then you put the body on. Put your little body on there and then you squish it down. And you gotta make sure they're a little on the fluffier side. You want them to, um, you want the body to stick in there. Hold on. Ready? Let's stick the body in. Ready? One, two, three, Wait, go. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, there's Koa's. Good job, Koa. He's so cute. You did a good job. Right, here's the finished product. It's so cute. Oh, Roman finishes too. Put yours right here. Oh, cute. Good job, Roman. Those are so. You have best buddies? Good job, guys. How's yours coming, Jay? Good job. Here they are. They turned out so cute, you guys. Look at that. So adorable. You guys ate your. You guys ate your bunnies? You want your lollipop? Only the head is left. Yeah. Oh no, that's Go right. ahead, eat your lollipop. Okay. Go ahead, you want your lollipop? All I gotta do is go. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. He was you can eat it. Here. It's right here. This is yours, Sophie. Sophie, this is your hers. It's right here. It's the body of the rabbit. The body of the rabbit. The rabbit is the lollipop. The lollipop is the rabbit. No. Oh, we should have done this. Aww. She hates eating character food. <laughs> <laughs> all right you guys i hope you enjoyed my easy easter activities video i had so much fun doing this and i know my kids enjoyed themselves so hopefully this gives you some inspiration too during this crazy time we have going on like it's kind of crazy you know so i just want to share those videos for you guys and check her channel out because she has so much fun um information on keeping your kiddos busy and it's all learning. So it's just great, you guys. Definitely check out her Instagram down below. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you guys so much. Leave me a bunny emoji and let me know that you did. Like I said, everything will be listed for you guys down below. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. But I hope they say the same cause you are the best thing. Ever happened to me? You are the thrill of my life. Oh, I'm never.